Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 24th, going to the 30th of October. I have the headphones in, so I'm going to hold it like this so that people don't complain to me about the sound quality. I hope it's okay, but I can't do much about it at the moment. Um, I'm trying to figure some things out, but in the meantime, I'm going to start shuffling the cards for you. Enjoy, relax, and then we'll talk about it, okay? Let's see, for Aquarius, please. Ooh... energy please for Aquarius Okay, I get the fact that you're a bit confused about something because it seemed like it was going great and then all of a sudden something didn't go the way that you wanted it to. I'm just going to clarify this. Um Okay, I'm just going to clarify this. Now, one thing I'm just going to reassure you on, Aquarius, is that everything's going to be okay. But of course, uh, you're currently going through a bit of a state of confusion and maybe a bit of shock. Now, you've been through the worst of it because your main card here is the Four of Swords. So you are healing, you are processing something, you are being urged to take some time out if you feel it's necessary to kind of think about things like calmly or to have some alone time, I think, would be necessary for you here. Um... But I kind of get the sense that this could be a relationship break and it could be to do with somebody else. So it could be anything really um, where it just didn't work out the way that you thought it would. Like it seems like you and someone else or you and a business partner, you and a, a company were on a journey. And then all of a sudden it just didn't go through like something didn't go through because we then had the ace of wands come in when I asked what we were healing from. So, of course, this is a false start this is something that was super a passionate idea this was we're gonna move we're gonna do this we're gonna start something uh we're gonna change transform and all of a sudden like it didn't kind of move on from here from an idea and then we have the seven of cups so confusion this is kind of like what happened that's what i feel like i want to ask like what happened here i'm curious now, for some of you, this will be a relationship, and I do say that because uh, some of the cards that we have in your Oracle deck that wanted to jump out straight away was Caring Connections, and I feel like this was a very passionate thing. I just want to find out what this person was like, because it's almost like, I'm not sensing anything negative here at the moment, but Aquarius, your last few readings have not had many nice people in it, so it's hard to, to understand this. We have Jenny here. And that kind of came with the caring connections. This is also to do with, again, like sometimes we're being called towards different things. And this might be the reason why something didn't actually go anywhere. And it's almost like this was not against you. It just feels like it just wasn't supposed to be. We have the thinking woman here, which is in your energy here, Aquarius, which is the fact that you're building a strategy. You are walking away from this, you know, uh, regardless whether it comes back or not. I think there's a lot of uncertainty here and hopefully I can clear that up for you here, Aquarius. But it's almost like whatever is lost will not be lost forever. You are going to recover this, but it just feels like um, you're having to walk away with a lot of questions here. But I'm hearing that eventually these will be answered for you. But what you do have to do is move away from this tower energy. Like something happened, something fell out. I'm going to clarify, but something did hurt you. Something did cause you to kind of be in a state of shock. Like what the hell? Like why did this come from? Like I thought this was it. I thought this was supposed to happen and it didn't. Um, maybe you had to move or again, there was a sudden there was a sudden blockage that got in a way. But this happened for a reason. And I know everyone says that, but you will discover that through time that actually I'm glad that thing didn't happen because this is where I am now and I wouldn't be here otherwise and sometimes it's those moments that are very painful but we do end up looking back at it differently but I do see you all kind of moving away and you are growing beyond this situation so I actually feel like whatever downfall this was or whatever blockage this was actually has caused you to see things clearer and what it is that you want moving forward and they're asking you to go and get it because I still feel like there's an energy of you haven't quite got the results from whatever has happened here meaning that 
some big things are going to happen for you, Aquarius, after something didn't work out. But let's see what this is. This walking away. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, which I love, by the way, especially with the King of Cups here. Now, I do think there could be some more people who are attracted to you at this time. Could be water sign energies here. Uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. I get a sense that someone's proud of you, but for some of you, this could be a family member here. Anyways, there's a lot of uh, people admiring you. I actually feel like that energy coming through for you, Aquarius. But Nine of Pentacles coming up with the walking away is really choosing yourself. And I think that maybe there was a lot of like mm, false starts with somebody or again, like maybe someone couldn't commit here. And this is why you're like, what? Hello? Like this was going incredibly well. What do you mean? This is going to catch you by surprise. And I do believe I'm going to try and tap into whoever this person is or whatever this is on their side, uh, because there is a lot of uncertainty here. And maybe they didn't clarify this to you or whatever, or maybe just didn't make sense to you, Aquarius. But on your side, and I think this is something that Spirit's asking for you to focus on, so I will help you and focus on it too, um, is you're choosing yourself, you're choosing your financial freedom, you're choosing your finances, you're choosing your financial growth, you're choosing your growth in general as a person, your stability as, as a person in general, and this is also just enjoying your time to yourself, so uh, this could be great for, again, being single, this is great for having more time for yourself, focusing more on yourself, and I did get that energy with this walking away, I did feel like this is you and this divine feminine energy, regardless of gender, you're stepping up and actually attracting um, opportunities and abundance your way. But let's see, what we what is this? What is this, please? This confusion. Who who who's this? Fire energy. Mm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, Aquarius. We have the devil card and the king of wands yeah that's that's player that someone's got an addiction to being single addiction to being playful flirtatious they have a reputation to maintain like very leo energy you know doesn't have to be with capricorn here too but again it's general reading signs don't really matter but this is the qualities that this person is possessing at this time again this ace of wands seems to be in his hand so this was a promise this person could not keep uh or an opportunity you know it feels like someone got your hopes up a little bit here and i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna fully say it to you with the the devil card this is not the first time like this person has a tendency and it's not the fact that they didn't care as you can interpret it the way you like because again it's questionable because why else would you do it i understand you guys don't worry like why else would you do that but i'm trying to be <laughs> zen and understand all i don't get the fact that they're looking at this and going like oh no I, I never wanted any of this like i think in the moment they did and this is where that fiery energy comes through with the king of wands of like it has seemed great at the time for this person and then I think it sunk into them that they can't commit or they can't, you know, they see, they do have a fear. The devil card is again is something that kind of possesses someone in a sense of they feel trapped to something, they feel stuck in something and they have, you know, limited beliefs to get themselves out of it and a limited growth mindset. And Aquarius, you actually are a thinker, a doer, you you have a lot planned in your future and I think this person would have dragged you down in the sense that there's a lot of sexual energy here, a lot of obsession, uh, maybe on both sides here. But this is where I get the sense that you're kind of avoiding this karma. Like, as you can see, this devil energy is lingering in. And, and you are in this feminine energy, by the way. So I'm going to see you as this little lady here hiding away from that. Someone's going to be, you know, receiving the regret from this. They are going to be getting this guilt eventually, whenever that is, from whatever they've done to you. Um... But you are escaping that by being away from this. And sometimes this is why blockages happen. Or again, we get rejected because it is God's protection in this case. And we have to believe in it in that way. Again, you don't have to see it that way. But this is just what I can see uh, from the cards. We have the Nine of Swords again. Sleepless nights, worries, overthinking, Five of Cups underneath that too. So this was very disappointing for you. And I think that there is some reluctancy to walk away. Because that devil energy is very strong. Like this is something that you just... You can't understand why, because this this seemed amazing. Like, like you know, I'm getting goosebumps as I'm saying this here, Aquarius. Like, I'm getting a sense that everything was perfect until this thing happened, you know. Or, like, and then this kind of just happened, you know. Yeah, I just get it like that. I get it like that. That's how I'm seeing it. Um, again, there is something that you're avoiding here, which is quite a lucky thing with this shadow side energy. But this is also their shadow side, and I, I feel like this is something that they fell into again it's like I think in the moment they're like they wanted to promise these things but 
fiery energy in this case and this story is not that reliable and this person is unreliable in this case in terms of the things that they promised they, they cannot keep so the energy is coming in here very strongly but you are going to gain your goodness so don't worry let's look into this we also have courage here and i i'm going to say that that is linked to the fact of walking away from this i think that this is going to take a lot for you and, and maybe it has taken a lot for you to get over like not get over this but to move f forward from this because i get the sense that you are looking back in a sense because i get it here you know i just wish it was different i could just feel that like i feel this energy from you like ah oh, frustrating but you have the courage to move forward and the thinking woman again i'm kind of seeing her kind of stopping and looking back every now and again like mm, there's really nothing there like and even here look and even here walking away like you guys shared some really unique and divine moments with the two of cups so courage says i find the inner strength to face fear with confidence and maybe there is a fear here with leaving this person behind oh i'm getting chills all up my body all right let's talk about the nine of pentacles please and it's walking away energy we have the knight of cups coming through and we have a temperance so again sag energy is coming through here but this is more of a sense of patience and, and something is going to come to you there's actually a better match coming through here for you uh that rainbow represents you know um well yeah it's kind of like the sunshine after the rain and this person seems to represent that rain again they seem to maybe not have brought out a darker side to you i don't think that's the case i think they brought out a different side to you but maybe it wasn't good not that it wasn't a good side i think it was temporary you know like uh, to discover that side of yourself but it felt like it wouldn't have lost a long time like that kind of relationship that kind of dynamic you know was kind of destined to die out like again i don't know why is maybe the fiery energy or again just how they are two tens here ten of wands ten of swords this was very draining for you in the end but moving forward, we have the Knight of Cups, which on one hand, I like this because if we're not talking about relationships, because some of you don't want anyone else apart from this person or again, just being by yourself, I can sense that. But you do have someone coming through with their heart in their sleeve here, which is actually really interesting to say because you have one guy here. I say guy, using that very generally. You have one person here with their hand underneath and it actually kind of looks like he's doing something very naughty here, but... um. <laughs> very sexual energy coming from this person i'm not gonna lie this person's maybe got a sex addiction or again like addicted to that kind of like oh, it's just like a temporary pleasure is what it feels like you know whereas you actually have someone coming through with love um which might be at a good timing because i don't think you want this in a sense that you're focusing on yourself which means that there's no dependency here as much as this person and this thing I'm, I'm saying it as if it's love but i am picking up that it's love but again it could be anything for you guys but i get just the sense that they brought out a very fiery side to you but again fire and fire boy oh boy uh that can be very difficult but we do have um an energy here that's a lot more honest and again that rainbow energy again like is a connection to the heavens here so you have this devil energy from the past that we're having to walk away from and we've kind of got this more angelic energy coming through so a sweeter connection something that you don't have to you know worry about with this stuff like someone who's super honest super there for you super supportive here like this caring connection someone who generally is like paying attention to you generally hears you out whereas this fiery energy is giving me like this excitement yeah but maybe some of you are drawn towards that aquarius but in this case, I actually get a sense that there is someone who is willing to support you through anything. Whereas this person, again, anything that ties this person down is a problem for them. And you don't want to be looked at as a burden, you know? What kind of relationship is that? You want someone to look at you and be like, I want to walk this path with you. Anything that we go through, we can do together. And I think that what you're attracting here is better connections. Also, outside of love and relationships, the Knight of Cups is really good for, again, crossing some sort of fear. And we do have that courage card here. So you are being, you are having to choose yourself in a situation and cross some sort of fear barrier here to choose yourself. Let's clarify this. All right, anything that Aquarius needs to hear, please. 
the wild card, some new beginnings. And this will be very good for you, okay? The wild card generally comes after a lesson learned, like the judgment call. So seeing the truth of something, I think you've seen or heard the truth of something, like something's been made clear for you. So it's about ending that old cycle to begin a new one. And of course, that's what the wild card is all about. It's about cycles. And uh, then we have the three of wands. So there's a new beginning coming through. We're just anticipating the next thing to come your way. Uh, but the first step is kind of that walking away, like leaving the past in the past here. Because there is this sense of rejection here. This sense of feeling like... Like this drained a lot from you and I think this there's a lot of questions here and sometimes with the four of cups, I hope you guys can hear me, I just realize I'm not holding on to this. <laughs> sometimes with the four of cups here, we can prefer to just sit inside or just sit with ourselves here and just create fantasies because it's it can fulfill us in some ways or at least give us some answers seem as this person is confusing. Um... Alright, what's the advice? I love how this jumps straight on top of this fire energy, this king of wands. You're the tower card. Your advice is to let it go. Your advice is to stop holding this together. And it's actually okay to let go of something that's going to collapse anyways. I think you really tried in this dynamic to keep things afloat. Like there was this, not desperation, but that's the word coming up. Like, a, okay, this is, this is not going to fail. Like this is not going to not happen this way. And I think that there's... Um, like, I think that there was this thing in you that just didn't want to fail again. And I think that this, there must, must have been a failure before this, which is why this time it was really devastating for you. Like, I did everything that I could. Well, there you go. There's your answer. If you did everything that you could and you did your best, Aquarius, then give yourself a pat on the back. The only reason why it fell off was because someone else wasn't doing their end of it or it just wasn't meant to be. And sometimes it's hard to deal with, but this this shouldn't be you shouldn't question what you did wrong because you didn't do anything wrong if you knew and i get the sense of like i did everything i could then you did everything you could my love like what else can you do more than that anything more than that is too much you can't carry everything for everyone just because you don't want something to fail sometimes failure is actually success in this case because are you really successful if you're holding everything together and not very happy deep down anyways the tower card is your advice over here and it's to allow this to to fall apart in a sense all right and the hermit here to kind of take a step back actually from this and for some of you maybe that was this codependency or this person to you or you to them but in this case i feel like you tried to hold someone up here and letting this go or walking away from this or allowing this go to crumble i'm kind of getting a sense back that you're sitting back and you're watching from a higher perspective and, and for some of you yeah you're gaining some clarity oh yeah that's great for you Virgo energy could have that in your chart but this is about being analytical seeing this from a very like wise point of view it's experiencing something you've experienced something that you've gained a lot of wisdom from it's been a catalyst for your growth here your your soul and spiritual growth that's that's really important I kind of get the sense back that he's kind of sitting there watching the tower unfold. So maybe this is your advice is to kind of see this differently, to see this from an outsider's perspective. Because when our emotions are in it, and I, I think your emotions are so confused, that of course you're like, it's devastating. But when you take a step back, it still looks devastating, but really you kind of know. And I kind of get your higher self is like, if only you knew what's coming from this. So let's see what's coming from this. What's coming Aquarius's way? What's the next? Ten of Swords again. So that ending coming through. But we have the Eight of Pentacles. Going to the Ten of Pentacles, which is incredible, by the way. So your finances are looking up for you. You might find yourself really kind of delving in to work to kind of remove yourself from any conflicting um, thoughts or people here. And I kind of feel like, yeah... Keep yourself to yourself at this time if the people around you are super negative because I'm just getting a sense that there are some people here who are out for their own gain or again, there's just this conflict here or drama and I think this is you kind of staying away from that. You might be working extra hours here again. Some of you, 
this person was an escape for you for from something else that you were running away from if that happens don't worry or again it could have been the other way around but i'm getting a sense that there is still conflict around you but this could be internal it could be external but regardless you're working on yourself you're building on yourself here and, and we have the uh, eight nine and ten of pentacles coming through so your stability your finances and your work life is going to look incredible and ten of pentacles by the way is also a legacy and you're building on making something work so you're gaining a lot of good recognition at this time good reputation and a lot of good fortune with the wheel of fortune on the bottom of the deck okay so everything happens in the end for for some reason i'm gonna pull you uh, a tea leaf tarot and see what else is coming up for you oh yeah well this is it this could have happened last month in september here or they could be a virgo or a leo uh, or it, we also have libra maybe as well this, anyways um ram a stubborn aggressive person coming through or again someone you dealt with this aries energy too we have a broken wishbone which is uh wish will not be granted which is to do with this person but again it's for a reason here i know you don't like me saying that but September, so this is when it could have happened. There's some significance here, significance here. Spear, heartache over what you no longer have. Teardrops coming through, great personal sorrow. You guys have been through it, huh? Chain of events that will affect your life. So this will have a chain reaction in your life, which in this case is a good thing. Again, you do have discord amongst family or friends. So these people might not agree with whatever's happening or maybe they love this person. The, the King of Wands has... An energy about him like you can kind of make anyone kind of love the outward persona but we have the shadow side which means they're not all that on the inside they're very shallow they don't you know they come across a certain way but really deep down they're, they're very empty okay and get time to get out of a situation so and changes in your life absolutely look at this this is exactly the story i'm saying success just remember we should be able to accept valid criticism okay and we have love underneath that too so moving forward your next relationships will look amazing and, and i hope to tap into that for you um in a later date but for now i really think that this is about kind of still processing and overcoming a situation that was very again troublesome difficult confusing and you know painful to say the least okay aquarius but i love you good things are coming don't you worry we have success on the table for you again your finances will be looking incredible you'll be focusing on yourself you'll be reading a lot more again building a strategy here uh, as you're moving forward packing your bags maybe even going for a vacation or traveling somewhere here again just doing something different this may be stemming from something which is probably why some people aren't agreeing with your next steps but you know you do you you need to listen to your heart's calling here because judgment has called you all right in the past you already know what you need to do for most of you if it's working on yourself working on a skill building a career for yourself building your finances saving up for something whatever is calling you it's time to do that um, because it will pay off for you okay i love you i wish you all the best i will see you guys next time